some British schoolboys are, uh, well, they're kind of the heroes of the internet right now because they beat the system. They stuck it to the man, so to speak. Uh, they are in a heat wave in the UK at the moment, and these boys, as part of their school uniform, have to wear trousers. They thought, blow this, it's too hot for this. So they went to school in their PE shorts and got in trouble for it. Not part of the official uniform, not allowed to wear anything other than the official uniform outside of school grounds. So they were told very clearly that they were not allowed to wear their PE shorts to school anymore. So what did they do? They wore another part of the school uniform, which was a girl's skirt. So a bunch of them wore girl's skirts uh, to school because it was so hot, guys, and what a great story. Let's just have a quick look at their picture. Have a look. This is the boys themselves. Um, there they are. In their, uh, some, of the, some of the boys. I think there was up to 20 of them, but there's some of the boys in their skirts. At least they have nice legs. Going to, <laughs> <laughs> worry, going to school because wearing their trousers was too hot. So you got to say, more yeah, power to them. Yeah, good on them. But isn't it just typical schools? Schools always have rules that to go around them, you have to get right outside your comfort zone. And whose skirts were they, their sisters? They just borrowed them or something. Well, they're, they're official school uniforms, so yeah. I guess either sisters or friends or yeah, yeah. Some, someone else. If it was well. a boiling hot day, would you wear a skirt if you couldn't wear shorts? No. Never? <laughs> Under no circumstances? Not even heat stroke would make you wear a skirt? I don't know. I mean, the young, of course, they do experiment with clothing <laughs> and with rules, <laughs> don't they? And I mean, I've spoken before how, how little I like them, the young people. They, they, <laughs> just, they, don't, they don't stick to the rules and they, they yell, don't they? And they run about. They've got a lot of energy, <laughs> which is nice. Ban um, them is what you're but, saying. Ban yeah. the young. I, look, I noticed some of them were put in isolation or excluded, it says in the story here. And you completely agreed um, with that. Well, <laughs> did you? I don't think it's great English schools have isolation, pretty much like jails. <laughs> now, I didn't know that. And good on them. You know, they're really... They're really, you know, taking it up a notch, aren't they? <laughs> well, they, one of the boys... How long they're in there for, days? <laughs> one of the boys, Michael Parker, said this. He said, it's not fair for boys to be roasting in black trousers on the hottest day of the year while girls can uh, wear skirts. And the, the best thing is the head teacher, uh, Kate Williams, so they didn't stick it to the man because they stuck it to the lady, technically, uh, basically said, you know, you can wear any official uniform, so yeah. she couldn't do anything about no, it. No, because it was within the school rules. Well, fabulous, good on them. But it does bring me to a bit of a, a local beef I've got here in Dunedin, and that's the kilt versus the pants. Mm. It's, it's, the, it's this, there's a continuum, the story's on it, it's not the same though. And as a, a person with three daughters, I think it's pretty unfair here in Dunedin that girls pay so much more for their school uniforms than boys. Um, I've got a graphic here for you, Q11, if we can whack that up. I won't identify what school it is. But basically, if you have a look at that, the difference between the kilt and the trousers, this is a school in Dunedin at the moment that girls are forced to wear. Wow. Uh, it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money difference. And I just wonder, without trying to be kind of too politically correct or any of that kind of stuff, is this not the dictionary uh, definition of discrimination based on gender? Because you're a girl, mm. or because you're the parents of girls, you are going to pay more for your school uniform than those boys are. An extra thousand dollars in your case, really. Yeah, it's a lot. And just imagine if it was any other people group. You know, if you were a particular ethnicity, you're yeah. paying more. It wouldn't be allowed. And I just wonder, uh, I mean, I, I know people are going to say we're splitting hairs and it's a bit silly, but to me it seems pretty clear in Dunedin, uh, girls should either be able to wear pants or shorts at school, and I'm sure, I'm not sure maybe some can, mm. um, that they should get rid of the kilts altogether. It's a horrible heavy thing isn't it yeah um, i used to wear one when i was at school but speaking from the zone of yep. the sex you are speaking about yes please this is just the beginning of a slippery slope of how expensive it is to be a girl <laughs> slash lady so get used to it you got three of them you're going to have to get a mortgage trains, now isn't it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is only the beginning of how expensive this is going to get look i hear you and i think if they want to have flash clothes outside of school that's something that we're going to have to deal with and I understand what you're saying yeah. but to be honest if you've got a son who goes to a school and a daughter who goes to a school for the daughter to have to have pay so much more mm. that to me still is Have you thought of not educating the girls? It's very popular in other countries Yeah, 